Ricciardo out of Formula One. Verstappen criticizes Ferrari. Red Bull will attack McLaren. What will become of Mercedes without Hamilton? All of this in this video for you. Daniel Ricciardo may have already run his last race in Formula One. This week, rumors surfaced that Red Bull is about to announce its plans for its B team, and it is speculated that they will begin in Singapore, with Liam Lawson taking Ricciardo's place immediately. After the Azerbaijan GP, Dutch journalist Rick Winkelman reinforced this possibility. According to him, his sources confirm the truth of this information. Sources indicate that Liam Lawson will definitely race in Singapore, he reportedly declared to Zigo Sport. Furthermore, rumors suggest that Lawson's contract with Red Bull includes a clause guaranteeing the driver participation in at least five Grand Prix this year. Former Red Bull driver Robert Dornbos shares this view and says he wouldn't be surprised if the story is confirmed. This is quite possible because I also had a similar contract at Red Bull where there was an obligation to participate in several races, Dornbos revealed. He also recalled his own case. At the time, they had to fire Christian Klein. Otherwise, another clause would have come into effect. Dutch commentator Olaf Moll does not seem saddened by the possibility of the end of Ricciardo's career in Formula One. He's simply done, he reportedly stated. Valtteri Bottas is also finished, as is Joe Guanyu. These are the realities of Formula One. Ferrari's performance this season has been a roller coaster of highs and lows. In some races, the team seems to be in contention for victory, but in others, its performance simply vanishes, as we saw in Canada, right after Leclerc's victory in Monaco. This inconsistent behavior led Verstappen to claim that Ferrari's recent good performance is due to the characteristics of the calendar. When asked about the truth of Verstappen's statements, Ferrari team principal Frederick Vasseur responded firmly, If our performance depends on the track, that's good news, because next weekend, we will have the same corners. Vasseur was then asked what a positive result would be for Ferrari in Singapore. He replied, After Singapore, we will have a break until the race in Austin, which will give us time to analyze and discuss strategies. But for now, my focus is on Singapore. I want to repeat last year's good result and fight against our main competitors. To conclude, the Ferrari team principal added, we are on a positive trajectory and need to maintain this pace to score more points than today, no doubt. The performance was there throughout the weekend, from the first lap of the first practice to the end of the race, and that's the most important thing. If we can score even more points next week while maintaining this same pace, it will be a significant step forward. Red Bull is no longer the leader of the Formula One Constructors' Championship. After a significant drop in performance in recent races, the Austrian team suffered a heavy blow at the Azerbaijan GP. Oscar Piastri emerged victorious, while Lando Norris claimed fourth place, putting McLaren at the top of the standings. This put the British team 20 points ahead of the Bulls, leading team principal Christian Horner to declare that it's time to react and reclaim the lead. Red Bull started the season as the dominant force, winning seven of the first ten races. However, the team lost momentum, now facing a drought of seven races without a win. This decline in performance, combined with McLaren's rise, has seriously threatened their pursuit of a third consecutive constructors' title. After maintaining a comfortable lead that surpassed 70 points following the British GP, Red Bull saw the situation turn around. In the Azerbaijan GP, McLaren turned the tables, establishing a 20-point lead over the Austrians. Red Bull's situation is further complicated by the rise of Ferrari, currently in third place, but just 31 points behind the Bulls. Although Max Verstappen managed to minimize the damage in the Drivers' Championship in Baku, as Norris had an underwhelming qualifying performance and finished only fourth, Christian Horner acknowledged that Red Bull needs to act quickly in the Constructors' Championship. Horner pointed out that if they look at the scenario before the weekend and base it on performance in Monza, Lando scored only three points more than Max. He found the situation frustrating, especially considering Norris's starting position, and yet Red Bull couldn't surpass him. Fortunately, Norris didn't score many points. However, Horner emphasized that the team needs to build on what they've already learned, as there are still many races ahead. 
The Red Bull team principal recognized that they suffered a significant blow in the Constructors' Championship and stressed the need to attack. With seven races and three sprints remaining, many points are up for grabs and several different circuits ahead, so the competition is far from over. Lewis Hamilton is not just a driver, he is a living legend of Formula One. Over nearly a decade, Hamilton not only brought a series of world titles to Mercedes, but also played a key role in transforming the team from a promising force into a dominant powerhouse in the sport. His impact on Mercedes goes beyond victories and trophies. He helped shape the team into a championship-winning machine, setting a standard of excellence that few have managed to match. With a career marked by unparalleled successes, Hamilton left a lasting legacy at Mercedes. His skill on track, determination and competitive spirit were fundamental in solidifying the team as one of the strongest and most successful in Formula One. His charisma and leadership were also crucial in building a cohesive and successful team. But like every great chapter, Hamilton's at Mercedes is coming to an end. For the next season, he will join Ferrari, a move that marks the end of an era at Mercedes and a new beginning at the iconic Italian team. Hamilton's departure leaves a significant void, a huge challenge for Mercedes, which now needs to reimagine its future and face a new phase. In this transition scenario, the spotlight is on Mercedes' new drivers, George Russell and Kimi Antonelli. Russell, who has already demonstrated his potential and talent at Mercedes, will now have the responsibility of leading the team. Antonelli, a young prodigy, brings new energy and a promise of innovation. The combination of these two drivers represents an interesting mix of experience and youth, and their partnership will be crucial for the team's future success. The task for team principal Toto Wolff will be enormous. Wolff will have to adjust his strategies and ensure that the new pair of drivers can quickly adapt and deliver exceptional results. A new plan will be necessary to keep Mercedes competitive and relevant in the Formula One landscape. Mercedes's future without Hamilton is an exciting mystery. The team will have to face significant challenges, from adapting to new dynamics with Russell and Antonelli to maintaining its prominent position in the category. However, Wolff's ability to lead and turn talent into champions will be put to the test. The question everyone is eager to answer is, can Mercedes maintain its leading position and continue to achieve victories and titles, even with the departure of one of the greatest drivers in history? Finally, George Russell will have the opportunity to prove he can lead the team. However, Alongside him, young Kimi Antonelli is determined to show that he has the potential to become a world champion and promises to be a constant challenge for Russell from the start. Toto Wolff tried, but failed to take Max Verstappen away from Red Bull. Thus, Mercedes's future will be shaped by the combined efforts of George Russell, Kimi Antonelli, Toto Wolff and James Allison. They will be the pillars responsible for bringing Mercedes back to the top of Formula One.